down here in the water in all these are Congo buffaloes. So we've got spe three species that would be typical. Oh, here we, oh, we go. go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This is a young female. This is for Wimby, I'm fairly sure. So when we feed them, if you want to have a go already, a good handful, flat on your hand, and she licks. She's licking. Her. She's slobbering, this one is. There. See, they use their tongue. The tongue's 15 or 16 inches long. Yeah. Oh, look out. We've got uh, Rufus heading his way up. This is a male coming up. No. Have to say hello. This is the Rufus is the dad of the two babies. We've got two baby giraffes about somewhere. A boy and a girl. And Rufus will probably push her out the way now. You watch. Look, look at him. You <laughs> bully. You big bully. Look at that. Very gentle. Can you see the tongue? All they do is lick. So gentle. And look at the slob. <laughs> <laughs> so if any, does anybody want to have a go? No. <laughs> 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 you, you, I bet you won't have a go, don't you? But so, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, Rufus, just bear with me. I'm going to come round this way. I'm going to go from River. Oh, chill. That's all you want. That's all you want. You're heading in the edge, aren't you? Yeah. Here comes Fen. He's coming round. Good morning, Fen. Here he is. He's a lovely lad. It's a bit more select. Oh, that's naughty. That's mm. naughty. That's what you meant to chair and chair alike. Hello. Yeah, you've got some big. No, I will though. It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Give a picture of the giraffes, it's really tough. <laughs> look at those eyelashes. Got lashes to die for, look. Okay, can I now press on, please? We need to get round the park. Okay, <laughs> you, you're stopping us. Okay. Yeah. One of them, um, if I ignored one of the females, if I was chatting to the, the people and uh, she thought she was being ignored, she used to nudge me. And then after two nudges, then she has to side them out. Is it to say, come on. Thank you. You, yeah. Yeah, I know. How does that <laughs> yes. I reckon I've just got a spot on the nose. See? I've got a mole. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a beauty spot. All this yeah. Oh, you've got a It's a, a beauty mole. spot. I need to uh, sort my mouth out. That's nice. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I keep... Oh. There's his dad. Oh, he's so gentle, this driver is. Okay, one last handful, then we've got to get down. Beautiful. Okay, nice and so when you own the giraffes, just coax them like farm animals. Yeah. Don't be afraid to freeze up like some do. Just go very gradually. And even if you even if it's in front of you, yeah, as long as you haven't time. got catch yeah. hooves or anything yeah, else, yeah. he will gently move that way. Oh look, someone's got the tongue out, look. <laughs> oh, I've got a nose tongue as well. Oh, one with a crooked tongue. Yeah. So, is that, anybody want to feed? I don't think any. I'm watching you. I'll feed off her mother. It was, yeah. Here, if anybody wants to feed. Yeah. Wow. It's quite funny we're getting attention today because the park's quiet. Oh, it's here. Yeah. 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 Is that a uh, lot of keeps? A lot of keeps. On quiet days. Yeah. They're amazing to watch. Oh, they are, yeah. I've done a lot of keeps. Oh, you got one, you got one there as well. Hello. You've got some feed there if you, you want to. Yes, yeah, so if anybody wants to. Yeah, they're such gentle animals. They really are beautiful. Okay, I kept saying I'm going to go. We've got to get back. We've got to go and see the elephants. No, you want some more, do you? Oh, greedy. Coming back. Yes, it's probably yes. Come on in. They're come in now. Oh, another one coming up. Who's this? I need some more feed here. Who are you? Let's go. Now be gentle. Stop fighting. Now these two, the males get pushy. Oh, do they? Yes. <laughs> that's naughty. That's naughty. Desert and the Mongolia, that part of the world, and they're very scruffy at the moment because the winter coats, as you can see, are literally falling off. There's wool everywhere. Oh, Every time it gets yeah. picked up, you see it's wool everywhere. Um, I mean, it would make it's brilliant nice. clothes, that would it would spin up to a lovely yarn. That pay a lot of money for a camel, camel yeah. Um, yeah, but they're all girls, 
except one big male. I've got a feeling that's him standing up over there, darker in colour, and his name's Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, yeah. Clever Trevor, eh? Trevor, get a look on. I think he's getting a bit fruity. Look. What's he doing? Bye, Trevor. She's not interested. <laughs> So there's a few in Germany and France, we've got a couple, um, with, uh, the few places that have got them, and that's it. So what's happened is, um, as, a, as a population effectively has died from where they've come from, maybe one day they'll go back. But they're in Europe now as safe havens. And in the winter, when these grow up, the males, they look just like reindeer, even though they're from an Arab country. The look of them, when we had the grottos and um, the Santa Express and all that here, they could have easily have gone in the grottos as reindeer. Mm. And they've got a nice temperament and personality as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I got a, I had got a guy from Iran, he lives in Iran and he was on holiday. Here. Four babies and even the babies have been girls. Oh no. Yeah. Are you coming up at the feed? Sometimes they come up. Are you having to think about it? Sometimes they come up and the kids, we get the kids to feed them. But they are quite appealing little things, they really are. And then the, we've got a herd at the back, they're bigger, they're from India again, and they're called Barasinga here, and they're all girls as well. Oh. Yeah. They're all ch chilling out. Oh, there's two males still on there. I don't know if you've noticed, yeah. right against the base. Yeah, there was, well, there's, there's a little black buck there. Oh, they are. Look, can you see there's two deer tucked right in against the fence at the back? Yeah. Mm. But they're males that have just oh, lost their antlers. Right, right. But they've oh. been sporting big antler sets. Oh. Anyway, the story is well, they shouldn't be here. I don't know if any others have said that to you. Though. No, I was told there were three near because the other one, the three, the three males, yeah. had been coming with the two males. The males have been left out there. Well, effectively, I think that's right, but their, their species is they are uh, axis deer from, um, from Taiwan, and they live, their family lives over by the elephant. So when we see the uh, deer on the hill, they're the male, there's four, there's meant to be four males. Yeah. They're a bit bothered, look. Did you bite him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're all, they're all yeah, getting rid of the winter coats as well. Yeah, these are African elephants. Um, yeah. The entire area is the elephant enclosure, which is lovely and big. The fence, if you can see it there, looks like, well, it doesn't look like a fence. It looks like it's a fence that's been pushed over. Yeah, it does. But what it is, this idea has come from African farmers. They've discovered that the elephants have got quite soft feet, and they just don't like to tread on the wires. That's all it is, and it has contained them. So the plan was to keep them off the road, because when they're in the road, everything came to a standstill. They could cross over. They were, were they this side? Yeah, they were, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Here earlier, two of them were this side. Yeah. If we come back this afternoon, there's every chance they'll be in the middle because there's two or three crossover points around the park or around uh -huh. in this section of the enclosure. The water, for instance, is over here. So they splash my foot. I warn you, if you're coming down here and they're in the water, what five in the tar bay are rescued. They came from a park in Africa that was attacked by poachers. Sadly, there was 30 odd of them killed. The only two survivors were these two. But Ivan did a good job there because that was a real rescue job. Yes, and Sutton was another little bit of fact. Sutton was the first elephant, we believe, in the world to be born with IVF. So he's not met his dad. His dad's a wild African bull. Um, and he's got a half brother living in Germany. How they harvested the seed? Goodness me. Did they do it? Yeah. These lovely busters. The busters on his own, and the fact that the tick is definitely older, smaller head. He's going to get the tick. And there's the covered walkway coming from the bank at the top of the bank. Can you see into the back of the tiger house from the two we saw earlier? They all sleep in this building. Yeah, yeah, they come in every night. Not together. No, separately, and their and their bays. When you go in there, all completely separate. Yeah. Yeah. They don't fancy each other. Um, they go to opposite ends of the field, as I was saying. So somebody suggested maybe to try alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> See if that might uh, loosen the get to the parts others can't. 
anyway, when she comes in season again, if he's not going to be interested, um, she's going to be up for IVF. Oh. So she'll be having artificial insemination. The girl's back there. He's the boy. So she badly needs to have babies. There's 200 left in the world. That's it. The numbers have been absolutely tumbling. The island of Sumatra, the, the, what was a jungle and a rainforest, and that's one. I've been nicked everywhere. <laughs> These are elands. They're the biggest antelope in Africa. And they, Sally's quite tame. She's like a child's pony. And she's very popular with everybody, Sally is. She was born with deformed horns. So, horns. Whereas the Africans, of course, have got two. That's a tail or something. Yeah, that's a Sananda. There we are. Look, she's having some brunch. Yeah. And you can see their house has been made to look like an Indian fort. They're completely scaffolding, look like a village home. She's jumping on some lunch there, look. So these girls, when they're excited and when it's um, the mood's right, they can run at 30 miles an hour. Two and a half tons and running 30 miles an hour. Wasn't there thinking about it? Crap you lazy boy, what are you doing? Well, come on, you've got some chores to do. Get on with it. <laughs> you lazy boy. <laughs> He's quite a character. <laughs> Last year, Sananda, uh, no it wasn't, it was, it was Sata. She was in season. And um, to see him chasing her around, he, she's two and a half tons, he's three tons. No? <laughs> the earth really did move, I tell you. It was like a mini earthquake. Here he is. Raf, what you doing? What you doing? Come on, you've got to get up, you've got some work to do. Look at him, lazy boy. Look at him. <laughs> he's a real character, though, Raf is. Yeah, you need to twitch your ears. What a life. And he came in here, straight away made his presence known. And both of them are pregnant, which is lovely, really. What's his name? Quigley. They're equivalent to 22 chickens' eggs. Are they really? Yeah, and if you boil them for 20 minutes, you get it about right. But you need a, a hacksaw to get it to the top, because the shell's so big. Oh. They've got the biggest eyes of any bird, right. but there's hardly any room left in their skulls for brains. Right. Yeah. Big yeah. eyes and no brains. Yeah. I was going to say big eyes and no brain. That actually does remind me of something, but that's <laughs> another story. Um, yes, and uh, I was about to say, I've completely lost the plot now. Um, um, uh, uh, oh, God, I'm, I'm going to say something I've forgotten. Oh, yes, behind, can you see the building behind is that we've built a school? And it's the academy and there's five classrooms there and the kids from the local schools can come in and do lessons in there and it, it's lovely for them just you know for a couple of hours at a time yeah. and when if you go round the other side towards the red fairies that's on a lake and the, the legs are on the lake underneath of it are hippos <laughs> and of course the children to go on the sort of the balcony and look over and see the ostriches this side and the hippos the other and then do a lesson lesson on animals it's beautiful.